I'm from the old part of San Sebastián. I always say I go head on at things. I've only got one team and I'll tell you which one. When I cut myself in the kitchen, my blood is blue and white, like Real Sociedad and San Sebastián. At the age of 21, my mother and aunt were sitting at the table and my girlfriend, today she's my wife, and I were with them. I told them they'd worked so hard, they'd left enough for us, and it was time they retired and allowed us to take over. They've been retired since then. At the age of 25, I received the first star, still the only Michelin star that's been given to a tavern you have to go down 25 stairs to reach. That made us dream as chefs. I thought I had something to say as a chef, and I showed that later on. That tavern was my university, my house, my everything, but it was limited for what I wanted to do. That's where the project you all know today emanated. It's the reference restaurant of the Basque Country, just like the top restaurant in Catalonia is the La Sarte restaurant in Barcelona. Sport, La Real and cooking have a lot in common. It's a team job. Uh, there are objectives, it's clean, humble and hard work, and it's the way to go. For me, La Real have followed the right path. I've been a Real Sociedad season ticket holder since I was very young. It changed my character a lot. I'm a straightforward person, I tell you the truth, and my day is not the same if La Real win or if they lose. I'm always behind them when they win, and even more when we're having tough times. This year I received the golden insignia from Real Sociedad from the president, Joaquín Apirebay. It's something I would never have dreamed of. Just talking about the gold insignia gives me goosebumps. It's one of the happiest moments of my life, and it's one of those moments where it hits your emotions. It's about your head and your heart. I'm so proud to have the Real Sociedad gold insignia. We've got an amazing team with an incredible coaching staff. All the Real Sociedad employees are really good people. And then there's a professional and human team with the players who are just incredible. I see Eusebio Sacristán as a great cook for a great team. He's the chef who's helping us to do things that were very difficult for us to dream about. And I see Eusebio as a very good person. He's like an uncle who gives everything for La Real and who only thinks about La Real. I would be a mixture of players. I'd like to be a mix between Iaramendi and Aguirreche, who's an example of professionalism, because he's having a very bad time with his injury. For me, this 
que, es, que cuando está sufriendo. For me, these are the people who, when they're suffering, are an example of professionalism. I take my hat off to them. I'd be a mix between Aguirreche, Aramendi and Inigo Martinez. And I'd like to be like Luis Sarconada because he's an incredible leader. I've always been an energetic person. I have character and fight. I'm all about grit, energy and a smile. That's got a lot to do with sport. I'm always looking forward, never backwards. I know that 98% of things that young people are told never happen. So you need to look at life and sport in a positive way and believe that with a smile and with attitude you can get everything. If you train a lot, you can run a quick marathon. Life, sport and cooking are a marathon.